My name is Harry, and I talk about why I'm not so hairy. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A. Um, I picked my top 10 most asked questions, and I'm going to answer them. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Uh, so my first question is, what is your biggest regret when it comes to alopecia? And I think this is a pretty interesting question. So I think that I would have to say not letting go of the wig earlier is probably my biggest regret. Um, I know that if I would have done it sooner than I did, I probably wouldn't have been ready. So I don't like regret it super bad or anything. But um, I just think that I was always thinking of, like, the worst that could happen. And I wasn't focused on, like, the positive things that could have happened. Um, so I would say, yeah, definitely not letting go of the wig um, sooner than I did. But I'm happy that I did now. The next question is, has anything changed since you stopped wearing wigs? And let me think. The only thing that I can think of that's really changed is that my routines are just like way easier. They take way less time. Um, oh, also, I do get a lot colder now. Like I used to be super hot natured and like my family always jokes that I like to freeze people out because I always keep the temperature pretty cold. But since I've stopped wearing wigs, I'm always, always, always freezing cold now. So that might be one of the biggest things that I'm freezing cold now all the time. The third question is, what's your favorite part about having alopecia? Let's see, I have a couple. Um, I would say that my most favorite part is probably because like I'm mildly lazy. I don't like to do like super tedious things. So not having to do my hair and shave is probably like the best parts about it like especially the shaving um i don't ever have to worry about that so that's always super nice but yeah i just don't like the tedious part about doing hair so that's my favorite part the fourth question is how did you learn to accept alopecia and i would say that the biggest way that i accepted it is literally i think i touched on this in my last video a little bit too but it's literally just changing my perspective on it um like I kind of mentioned before, like if you focus on all the negative and focus on the bad stuff, that's all it'll be. But if you really take the time and kind of flip that switch in your head and really think about all the positive things that could come from it, um, that's what it'll be also. So that's the biggest way that I have learned to accept my alopecia. The next question is, do you get a lot of stares or questions in public? And so the answer is, I don't really notice people staring necessarily, so I would say no to the staring part. Um, but for the questions part, I don't get a lot of questions, but I do have from time to time people do come up to me and ask about it. Um, if anything, I mostly just get comments or like I usually get compliments also. Um, that's the biggest thing, but not as many like questions but just like comments like oh you're like really rocking that bald look or things like that but yeah the next question is how do you take care of your wigs so let's see i was never like that great taking care of them but i would always make sure that i'm washing them and brushing them pretty much just treating them like real hair uh, that's the best way to take care of them um even my headband wigs because i would sweat in them quite a lot because i would always use them going to the gym or playing sports um so i would also even you know wash the headband on them and things like that there's a ton of videos on youtube that can kind of show you how to wash your wigs and take care of them um, if you all would like for me to show you how i do mine just let me know and i'll do that in another video the next question is, why do you only talk about alopecia and not really other aspects of your life? And the answer is, I mean, if you guys want to know more about me, I would love to talk more about me. Um, but 
this channel was just mostly created to talk about alopecia that's why i talk about it here but if you guys want to know more just let me know and i can record other aspects of my life as well the next question is were you nervous not wearing a wig and then like the people that know you to wear a wig seeing you without it and the answer is yes um i think that was the biggest things that i was afraid of honestly when i decided to take my wigs off it's like these people know me for wearing the wig it's different when someone's just meeting me like this right because they don't even know me with the wigs um but i was very very scared of the people that know me with the wig, especially like my coworkers, that's all they know. They didn't even know I had alopecia. I was very, very, very scared on how I would navigate that. Um, but I've just been so blessed and I just have an amazing team. So my manager helped me kind of navigate that with my other coworkers and people at work. And um, we just, I just kind of figured it out. The next question is, what are some things that you're passionate about? Let's see. So I feel like my number one passion is really just helping people. Um, that's honestly the main reason why I created this channel, just because I want to show other people with alopecia that they can do it. It doesn't stop their life. Um, it can be positive and it's not the end of the world. So helping people, I would say, is one of my number one passions. And the last question, number 10, is do you ever find yourself still wanting to wear wigs even though you haven't for a while? And the answer to this is honestly not really. Um, wigs are kind of uncomfortable. And I am the type of person that will prioritize comfort over anything else. So I haven't really wanted to wear the wigs. Um, I think it's been about nine months since I've stopped wearing the wigs. And I think out of those nine months, I've worn a wig maybe four or five times max. Um, so it's really not something that I'm really wanting to. If I want to change up my look or I just want some extra warmth, I'll throw one on. But other than that, I, I'm i not really missing them. Honestly, I'm really not. Like I, I, I thought that I would, but I'm not. <laughs> And that was the last question. So this wraps up today's video. If you liked it, please like the like button, comment in the comment section, and subscribe to the subscribe button. If you guys want to ask me any other questions, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.